Hello everyone, we're talking reliable and unreliable sources in this presentation. We're going to see if we can tell the difference. So when we're researching, we always need to be sure that we're getting our information from reliable sources. Some sources are considered to be reliable because they are by people who are experts in the field. These are the sources we can trust. On the other hand, some sources are not reliable because the authors may not have a thorough knowledge or full understanding of a topic. This is the internet. Just because it's on the internet does not make it real. It does not make it true. While we still need to read critically and we need to evaluate each source on a case-by-case -case basis, these are great places to start, re to start our research. The first are books, authored, edited, and published, newspapers and magazines, an issue from one perspective of, of multiple news sources, so we don't just go to one news source. We have peer-reviewed journals, peer-reviewed articles, the public library, scholarly articles, isolated studies or academic research, as well as educational and government institutions and their websites. To determine on a initial case-by-case -case basis, the reliability of online websites and their organizations, look at the URL ending. If a site ends in .edu, it is most likely an educational institution. However, we got to be aware of political bias. There is notoriously conservative institutions and there are notoriously liberal institutions. And so just because it is a school does not mean we can trust it implicitly. If the site ends in .gov, we most likely have a reliable government website. And .org, it is usually a nonprofit organization. For news sources, every television and print news source has a website now. But beware, sometimes their focus is to entertain rather than inform. We can think of these types of sources as a stepping stone to more reliable sources. There are many unreliable sources on the internet because they require confirmation with a reliable source. Wikipedia is a notoriously unreliable source. However, it can be a good starting point for finding initial ideas, and often there are links that you can track to reliable sources from Wikipedia. So let's not dismiss it entirely. It can be a great place to point us to reliable sources. Blogs and tweets are notoriously unreliable. Personal websites, forums, sites created by organizations that have, may have political or biased agendas, sites that provide biased information, self-published sources, opinionated art articles such as editorials, purely the opinion of the writer. Online sources with a URL that ends in HTML, which is the basic building blocks of web pages. We gotta be wary of those. Dot coms are unreliable, and here's why. These are companies that conduct business over the internet. Some of these masquerade as being reliable. However, many of them have hidden agendas. So we gotta think, are they trying to sell us something? Is there a product or an idea that they're trying to get us behind? We must be wary of dot coms. In this presentation, we've covered some of the basics about finding reliable sources. Make sure that we are heeding these whenever we are trying to find credible sources for our research. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe.